I have like big calves, thick legs, you know, big thighs and hips. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican, I've got the big hips. <laughs> How are you today? Today I am here with my monthly favorites for the month of July. I haven't done one of these since I believe February. It's been a really long time. <laughs> I'm going to be doing my beauty favorites as well as some fashion favorites. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of that, please go ahead and keep on watching. And as always, if you guys enjoy this video, please subscribe to see more from me and hit that little subscribe. I already said subscribe, didn't I? <laughs> it's late. <laughs> But let's go ahead and get on to my favorites. I do have to mention I have swatches all over my hands. Please excuse that. They are dirty. They're a mess. But um, they're not coming off. So I just said to go ahead and film another video and I will take them off after this video. But if you guys are wondering what the, all of these swatches are from, they're from my ColourPop haul, which will be either before this video or after, probably after. So keep an eye out for that if you want to see that. Anyway, let's get into it. Enough blabbing. Let's start with beauty favorites, shall we? So the very first favorite should come as absolutely no surprise. It is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. This has become probably my all time favorite eyeshadow palette. When I see a new eyeshadow palette, I'm always immediately excited for it, no matter what colors are in it. This one, I just love even more than your typical palette because I do get my neutrals in there, but I also get some bright pops of color, which I love. I like to have fun with my makeup looks. I like to do a little bit of color, as you can see on my lids today. I'm not actually wearing this palette, but it looks like I'm wearing these colors here, <laughs> but I am not. Yeah, I like to have fun, and I also like to have everyday looks for kind of my day-to-day -day mom life. So I really love this palette. I have been using it daily. I haven't reached for any other palette except for today, actually. Isn't that interesting? The day that I'm doing a video about this palette, I'm not using it. <laughs> Seriously, today is the first day in the like last month and a half that I have not used this palette. So if you guys haven't picked it up, definitely pick it up. The sh shadow quality is amazing. They're so silky, so smooth, and just beautiful. And they blend beautifully and they just look amazing and I love them. So the next thing I wanna talk about are actually some brushes that I've been using to apply my shadows. This is my first time trying Sigma brushes. And you guys, they are so good. I want to own every single brush in their collection because I'm obsessed. So the first one is the Sigma Tapered E40 brush. And this one is just to kind of blend out my shadows. Oh, you know what? Let me just touch up while I'm here. So the Tapered E40 is just for blending out that crease color and I love it. I, I'm a big fan of blending brushes anyway. They're probably my favorite brushes. And, but this one is just so good because it's kind of smaller if you can see. So it's not super fluffy. It's not gonna like mess anything up. It's just that perfect kind of shape to really blend out that crease. I am in love. So the next one is also a Sigma brush and this one is so dirty. I used it today on like the outer V of my eye so I'm sorry it's dirty but it's the Sigma Blending E25 brush. So it's also a blending brush but if you see it's more, it's kind of like pinched on the side there which makes it a little bit more concentrated. So that one I like to use for the outer V or for getting a color kind of directly in that crease if I really wanna like stick it in there. <laughs> I like to kind of get that in there and blend that way. And this one is great for that. And it's also great if I want kind of an all over color, I'll just kind of pat it in with this and just blend it all over. So that's really great for that. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is another brush and it is the Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush. And this is what that looks like here. It's just the perfect brush for getting that highlight kind of exactly where you want it. When I really want my highlight to pop and I want it to be like, bam, in your face, I'm a disco ball. I love this. <laughs> so it just really like packs on that color in there if I want to, but then I can also just blend it so that it looks seamless and easy. I love this brush. So the next thing I wanna talk about is a bronzer and it is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And I've heard people talk about this for a really long time. What color is this? Take it to Brazil. But this is what it looks like here. And it's just a great color for me to wear kind of like all over, super easy and quick. And that's kind of what I've been into. I'm not into like super contouring lately. I just want like an easy, natural bronze look. And I feel like this really gives that to me. And it's just super easy to apply. I apply it with my, where is it? With my Morphe M4, M401 brush, which is actually like pretty fluffy. But what I like to do is kind of pinch it a little bit and just kind of like take that and blend it 
all over. So I really like this bronzer for that. And this is super cheap. I think it was like four, four or five dollars at Walgreens. So the next thing I want to talk about, which I probably should have talked about before my bronzer, <laughs> is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. Now you guys saw me talk about this in a recent haul, Sephora haul. I am in love with this. I talked about how I've been looking for kind of tinted moisturizers or BB creams or anything of that nature. I've been really trying to find kind of my perfect one of that, <laughs> my perfect tinted moisturizer or BB cream or something like that because I don't like to wear foundation on a day-to-day -day basis. Like I said, I'm a mom. I need to just like wake up in the morning, slap on a little bit of something to make me look like I'm not just risen from the dead um, and then walk out the door and do everything I need to do with my kids. Um, I also work from home, so I'm like home all day. I don't really see anybody. I don't need like a full face of makeup for that, you know? But I love this stuff. It just gives me this beautiful kind of, I don't even know how to explain this. It just kind of like evens out my skin tone, which is exactly what I'm looking for. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys, but I don't know if that really makes a difference. <laughs> uh, but, and then it just gives my skin this like natural glow, natural finish. It just looks kind of like it honestly looks like I didn't put anything at all on my face, but then my face is just covered in like more smooth. So like I'm ready to just go out and conquer the day, you know? <laughs> so now let's go ahead and talk about my fashion favorites. So the very first that I'm going to talk about is going to be this choker right here. I actually have had a few of you guys ask me where I got it from and I really, really love it because it's so simple. It's like that like pretty Cinderella choker. I love that. I love anything that's like princess, Disney princess themed. I love <laughs> So this reminds me a lot of Cinderella's choker. Excuse my nails. They look awful. I really need to get them done, but I haven't had time. So just, just pretend you don't see that. <laughs> um, but this, yeah, it just reminds me of Cinderella and I love it. I actually bought this at Burlington Coat Factory and I actually got it in a pack of three chokers, like three different ones. I hated the other two that were in there, but it was only five, I think it was $5.99 or $4.99 for three chokers. So I was like, hey, I'm gonna get the pack. And even if I just used the one, which was this one, it's still only $5 for one choker, which I think is a great deal. So I bought it. I love it. I've been wearing this all the time. And a lot of you guys really seem to like it. So that's where I got it. If you guys are interested in getting it, definitely go check your Burlington Coat Factory. Maybe they'll even have more now. This was the only kind of pack they had there, but I'm hoping they'll come out with more because that's a great deal for a choker. And the next thing that I wanna talk about are actually some shoes. And these I purchased off of um, Amazon. That's kind of where I do like all my shopping at is Amazon. But they're just like that kind of one strap heel that's super popular right now. But I didn't like the thin, um, the thin heel that a lot of them have. It was just a little bit too delicate for my body. I just felt like from on me, it wouldn't look very good. Kind of, I have like big calves thick legs, you know, big thighs and hips. <laughs> I'm Puerto Rican. I've got the big hips. <laughs> I really didn't think that the skinny heel would look good on me. So I really I shopped for probably like a week. It, like when I look for something, I really want to make sure I like it before I buy it. So I shopped for like a week to try to, try to find the perfect heel. And when I saw these, I immediately fell in love because they have a really thick, chunky heel. They also have, you know, that single strap in the front that I really liked but they're also more interesting because they have kind of a crisscross pattern up here so they're just they're delicate but they're not so delicate like the other ones that i feel that like my puerto rican body would overpower them <laughs> so i really really love these and i actually bought them in this color in black and in like a nude color and i left my nude color in the living room so because i wore them a couple days ago so they're in the living room still so i didn't grab them but they look exactly the same i'm sure i'll probably have an outfit of the day or something wearing those or the black ones on my instagram so if you don't follow me there definitely follow me there so that's everything that i've been loving for the month of july all of these products and everything that i've purchased will be listed down in the description box below if you guys are interested in finding it for yourself let me know what you guys have been loving this month and if we had any of the same favors i'd definitely like to hear that or if you try any of these things after i kind of let you know about them please let me know what your thoughts were on them and if you loved them as much as I did thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys